Hello everybody and welcome to this presentation. My name is Lee Snyder, a software manager here at Trimble. And today I wanna to introduce the new BCF topic service that's available in Tackle Structures. This was initially launched in Trimble Connect last year and we've taken that same service and integrated it into Tackle Structures. And it's being integrated into other Trimble applications as well, such as Tecla PowerFab. BCF stands for BIM Collaboration Format and it's an open industry standard from Building Smart International. For those that aren't familiar with BCF, I'll provide a link in the description of this video so that you can learn more. And I'll also provide links to the full documentation of this feature and how it works in Trimble Connect, Tecla Structures, and Tecla PowerFab. So to begin, I'm here in Trimble Connect and you can see that I have the BCF Topics panel already opened and I have existing BCF Topics that have already been created. These topics are designed to help the collaboration and communication between the different modeling applications. So if you were working in Tecla Structures and someone was working in Trimble Connect or in Tecla PowerFab, you'd be able to use this BCF topic service to exchange information and to enhance your communication and collaboration. So if I click on this first one that we already have created, you can see that it will go ahead and load the model exactly to that location where the topic was created. You can see that there's a cloud markup that's there within the model. Up here at the top, if you insert any of the measurement options or these markup options or clip planes, those will be stored and captured in the view so that you can again enhance the communication with these BCF topics. If you want to add more than one view, you have this camera icon where you can add additional views. You also have the ability to add comments. So anybody viewing this BCF topic would be able to come in and add a comment and you'll be able to see the full dialogue there. You also have the ability to add references. So if there was a file already uploaded in the Trimble Connect that you wanted to reference, you could do that. You can also upload information directly from your machine and you can also put in a URL as well. On the far right, we have the models tab where you can come in and link model objects. You can see that there are four model objects linked already to this BCF topic. So if I click on view model objects, those will be highlighted within the model so that I can more easily see the objects that are being discussed in this BCF topic. If I expand this with the coordination, you can see all of the different information about the BCF topic. And we have filter and sort options as well so that you can really easily find the BCF topics that are of interest or of priority to you. So that's the basic workflow for these topics that if you come in and click on them, they'll zoom you to the location. You'll see any of the markups that are there. You can see the title and the description, and then you can interact with those accordingly. So this is viewing the BCF topics in the 3D view. You can also view the BCF topics in the project view. As you can see here, the same topics are listed here. And you have all of these different filtering and sorting options. And you also have the ability over here to come in and import or export topics. So as I mentioned, this is an industry standard format. So if you're interacting with other third-party applications that also support this format, you can import and export topics to interface with those applications as well. So as I mentioned, this was launched in Trimble Connect last year, and now we've added support for this in Tecla Structures. So if I open up Tecla Structures, the way that this works is that you first need to link your Tecla Structures project to your Trimble Connect project. There's several ways to do that, and you likely do that for other scenarios already, but for those not familiar, you can come down here to Trimble Connect and start your collaboration and choose the Trimble Connect project that you wanna to link to, or create a new Trimble Connect project from scratch and begin uploading your model to the project. The preferred model upload into Trimble Connect for this BCF Topics workflow is the .tecla file. That file is uploaded each time you click this Upload Models button, or if you're using Tecla Model Sharing, it will be automatically uploaded each time you create a baseline by default, or you can change the advanced option to automatically upload the entire model when you do a write out. Once that model is uploaded, then you can use the BCF Topics service between Tecla Structures and Trimble Connect for a seamless workflow. So let's go back into Trimble Connect. This is the project that I have linked to that Tecla Structures model. And I've gone through and added in some clip planes. I've added in some markups and dimensions, as you can see here, just to save time in this video. And so what I wanna do is communicate this to the person that's using Tecla Structures. 
So I can come up here to add a new BCF topic and I'll give this a title. So I'll call this revise concrete model and then I'll put in a description here and then I can start filling out the rest of this information so I can choose a type. I can then select a priority. I can choose a due date. I can add any tag that I want and choose a status. As mentioned, I can add references and once I'm satisfied, I can click on save and that will create this view with the annotations, storing the clip plane and all of the other information that I've added to the BCF topic. And you can see here the revised concrete model topic has been created. So now anyone that's in this Trimble Connect project will be able to click on that and see that. And then anybody in Checo Structures in the linked Trimble Connect project will also be able to see this. So I'll go ahead and go back to Checo Structures and on the Trimble Connect tab, I can click on BCF Topics. And you can see here that I have the revised concrete model. So I'll go ahead and click on that and it will zoom me into that location. You can see that there's the clip plane, my dimension and my markups. And now I can see exactly what they're trying to communicate to me and I can add my comments and interact with this as needed for the project to move forward. So as I mentioned, the preferred model upload from Tecla Structures is the .tecla file. But if you're uploading an IFC file or if you're using the PowerFab export and uploading a .trb file, the BCF Topics workflow supports those file formats. There's just one additional step that you need to do if you're creating a BCF topic from Tackle Structures. So let's go ahead and cover that now. So I'll switch to a new Trimble Connect project. This one has two files that have been uploaded. One is a partial upload from my model of sequence 17. And the other came from the Tecla PowerFab plugin, which is a partial upload of a submittal that was issued for this project, and that creates this .trb file. So if you're working with BCF topics where you have just portions of the model that have been uploaded into Trimble Connect, as opposed to the entire model, which is that .tecla upload, then there's one additional step that you need to take when you create BCF topics in Tecla Structures. If you're creating BCF topics in Trimble Connect, there are no additional steps. You can create those just like you normally would, but I'll show you what that extra step is in Tecla Structures. Before we jump back into the model, I wanna highlight one other powerful feature of the BCF topics, and that's here under the settings. And if you click on BCF topics, you have the ability to come in and customize the topic types, the statuses, and the priorities. So just to briefly show you an example of how that would work, let's say that I wanted to create a new type. So I'll just call this on hold fabrication and I'll go ahead and click add and I can come in and customize the icon as well. So if I want to create a new icon, I can select that there, click on save changes and now I can use that on this project. If I wanted to import settings from a different project so that I didn't have to do this each time I could do that. And then I can always reset these to defaults at any time as well. The other thing that you can customize are the email notifications. So if you come to notifications under topics, you can expand this and then select the various options that you would want. And you can allow the project admin uh, to control who can set their email preferences as desired on the project. So since I added in a new status type, I'll go ahead and open up this project from scratch so that it reads in that new status. And then once my model loads, I'll be able to go in and create a BCF topic and show you that extra option that we need to be aware of when we're creating BCF topics for partially uploaded models. All right, so I'll zoom in here to this location. This is a filtered out portion of the model. And let's say that there were some items in here that I needed to place on hold and I wanted to create a BCF topic for these. So I can come up to the Trimble Connect tab, click on BCF topics, and then you can see that I have the same measurement, markup, and colorization options as you saw in Trimble Connect. So if you want to include those, of course you can. And to create a new topic, it's the same UI as what we have in Trimble Connect. So I can come in and give this a title and say change order received and I can add a description place on hold because and whatever I want to put in there and then I can choose an assignee and now under type you can see that I have this new option that's been added this on hold fabrication so I'll select that we can choose the priority set the status and then just like we had in Trimble Connect we had the add references option 
And you'll notice this new option that we have in Tecla Structures, where if you're doing a partial upload of the model, that could be the IFC file or that, that .trb file, then you would wanna come in and select this option so that we can correspond the BCF topic to the model in Trimble Connect. So just to emphasize, this isn't needed for the .tecla upload. This is just needed if you're doing a partial upload from Tecla Structures into Trimble Connect. So I'll click on Add Models, and you can see here that I could browse to the TRB file or to the IFC file or whatever I have uploaded. If you wanted to select more than one, of course you can, but I'll just go ahead and click to select this one. I'll click on Save. And then if we want to be more specific, once this topic is created, we can link specific objects to it. So I'll come back to the models and let's say that it was these three members here that we're placing on hold and I'll link selected. Now those are added and then I can click over to Trimble Connect and let's go ahead and launch this in the 3D viewer so that we can see how this topic works. And I'll go to the topic side pane. I can see this new option here. It zooms me into that location and then if I go over to the models I can click view model objects and those are highlighted and then I can add my comments and and so forth and so on but if I expand this under the coordination you can see that I have the on hold fabrication so all my customization options would be carried forward and those can be used like I said in any other Trimble application that uses the BCF topic service or in third-party applications that support the BCF schema so we're really excited about this new feature that we're adding throughout our various Trimble applications. Like always, we invite you to try it out, send us any feedback that you may have, and we hope you enjoy this new development.